Uh, episode 31. What's up, y'all? Mitchters, dude. I don't know shit about it. Isaiah picked this out. All right, Isaiah, why did you pick this out? Is it Michters or Mitchters? <laughs> I call it Mitchters. 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 What say is it? What is it? Mitchters. Mitchters. Like Mickey Mouse. All right. We've established that. So, uh, it's apparently it's one of the oldest bourbon brands. All right. Very old. It is Bourbon Heritage Month. It is Bourbon Heritage Month. And it seems to be uh, from, from among bourbon aficionados. Pretty solid brand. All right. A lot of aficionados are big on this. Small so why don't you go ahead and crack the top on that? It doesn't say. I'm not going to read this. Uh, I'm just. Give us the highlights, man. Uh, American corn. Hi, okay. I'll don't sound it. so enthused. I'll just read the shit. We are proud to offer you our small batch bourbon. There you go. Get in the it. Michter's tradition, hailing from one of America's first whiskey distillers. Mm. This bourbon is made from the highest quality American corn. Bless. And mature to the peak of perfection in hand selected charred white oak barrels. Mm -hmm. It is then further mellowed by our signature filtration. Government warning women. No, I'm sorry. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. God bless the Surgeon General. I think every uh, label on the back of bourbon is basically the same thing. I've read a lot of them. The Surgeon General on this one. show. No, that's always the same by law. <laughs> Talking about the description. Of the bourbon and its story, its legacy. They've got like yeah. a like a like a word box of three hundred words, and yeah. they can all just pick whatever words yeah. they want. I was right. say. What if the Surgeon General's warning changed per alcohol? <laughs> like it's vodka, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. Depends on your liking. Like tequila, Surgeon General's warning: please buy a condom. Hennessy. <laughs> Preferably goes good with backwoods, like each one is. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and pass that around. Yes. Here you go, man. All right. We're going to do a quick little uh, dive into D23. Yes. Okay. I, and there's some in the show notes later on. There's a couple of things we're going to focus on. I noticed that. That's why I mentioned D23. But I know you had added it to the list. So you want to kind of just... Give us like an abridged overview of what D23 is. Well, let me I mean, back I up. Why don't you give me your highlights from it? Um, what are you most excited about? Because if I'm being honest, there's a couple of things that they talked about that mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, drop that pen. Um, I'm not super interested in, and I feel like there's not enough really information about it to discuss. So, no, there's not. What stood out to you? Let's go uh, with just the highlights for right now. Okay. So, they did what? Three days. D23 is just basically Disney's. Uh, IP Expo. Mm -hmm. They do like first days like games and kids shit. Second day, I guess, is uh, movies. Is it, it's two days. So I guess the second day is like movies. So we got like three panels. Uh, Disney's IPs are Disney, the in-house shit, Star Wars, and of course, Marvel. Yep. So we got lots of trailers, lots of sneak peeks. Uh, we got some Indiana Jones. We got some Lion King prequel, Mufasa, Mufasa, which I don't know anything about. Mufasa. Uh, we got Little Mermaid Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. with uh, uh, Holly Bailey. Yep. Uh, we got a bunch of Star Wars shit, Andor, Skeleton Crew with Jude Law. All right, so now you're just running through the whole I'm list just, of I'm just going to shoot through. Uh, yeah, but what were your favorites? What are, you, what are your standouts? Uh, Little Mermaid looks great, just from the teaser. Um what they did release to the public, as far as Marvel goes, was only the Secret Invasion trailer. Yeah. Which looks amazing. Yeah, I've not watched it. Uh, they, and, you, you saw it, though. Yeah, I did see it. Hence looks, it looking amazing. It, it looks amazing. Yeah. And the other stuff, I heard there was like a Ant-Man 3, uh, the Marvels, mm -hmm. and a few other things that they just kept in-house. They haven't released yet. But the only thing they did release was, uh, oh, and they did Werewolf by Night. Yeah. Yeah, they did show that. So that, that looks cool classic type horror. Okay. So Secret Invasion. Yes. That stood out to you? Yeah. Uh, You're excited about that. Is Are you excited about it only because you saw the trailer? And like that's the only trailer you've seen? Well, other than I was The Little Mermaid? I, I didn't really know what to expect yeah. with it. Uh, we just knew like Secret Invasion is, is coming. It's one of Marvel Comics uh, like standout uh, comic book arcs. Um, where you know the scrolls are have infiltrated 
uh, the planet and they are disguised as heroes uh, where, you know, MCU has to take a different approach with adaptations Mm -hmm. uh, where I think this will be smaller scale, but kind of in vain of, of that, uh, of that comic book. And uh, this, in this adaptation, adaptation, the main character is going to be Nick Fury. So it's good to see Samuel back. Yeah, it's giving heavy espionage with alien twists, mm. which is uh, which seems seems pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah. Um. All right. Anyway, back to Secret Invasion. Oh, day twenty three. That's pretty um, much it. Yeah. So you enjoyed the Little Mermaid teaser? I thought it was a very very short teaser. Yeah. It, it felt like I thought it was a strange release to be honest because I felt like it was just so little just enough i think it was just yeah. enough to show us what it will look like what mm-hmm. she will look like and i guess that was probably the point yeah 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 and she sounded amazing mm. which was which was really good like yeah i kind of thought we were great. gonna get a little bit more of the song because i actually read reviews of it before i saw it and everybody the was like yeah okay yeah there were people that were commenting on how great she sounded that she like really belts it out yeah and i was like oh well we're gonna get a little like chunk of the song and it she got, just like, does a one like the line. first bar yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, anyway um my daughter lost her shit yeah she's disney princess that's awesome yeah so she was like oh my god is little mermaid like a big film in your house <sighs> it they they all have their moments yeah. each one of cinderella is there a staple the, though that like really um, hangs hangs around Nah. It, Nothing that's like consistent. Like Lion King was my favorite as a kid. Nah, man. Like whatever whatever pops up on the fucking Disney Plus screen. It was kind of flavor of the week. We're just kind of locked. Yeah, flavor. We're just kind of locked in that day for this. Yeah, it's probably yeah. like sign of the times though. Because there's so much yeah. content coming out all the time. I remember back then, like when a Disney movie came out, that was a really big deal. You got invested. Like yeah. you went and saw things like over and over. over. I saw Beauty and the Beast like six times. Lion well, the King is probably the f- one of just given my age here but lion king and new jack city are like the first two movies <laughs> i feel like lion king was my first movie that's the first movie i have a memory of yeah I, I like going to the movies yeah. to see like that's it like, uh that and like my my father inappropriately let me see new jack city so yeah let's well go kind of person i am throwback all right so no big staples it's from nah, not with the kids not no. classics no. anyway all right she like you know, little mermaid you know, it all it all it cycles through. Yeah, whatever, whatever they're on that week. What was your favorite Disney classic? <sighs> Probably Lion King. Uh, I'm I'm really big on Toy Story one. Yeah, I feel like the Pixar like saga of films I consider a little separate, a little different yeah, in is. comparison yeah. to Disney classics because like Pixar, yes, like I'm a huge the 3D versus Toy the Story flat thing. animation. Yeah, yeah. I, I okay, so I'll say with flat animation, I'll say uh, it's probably Lion King. I I really enjoy Aladdin. Aladdin's good. Yeah, Aladdin I really, really holds really up. Fucking enjoy Aladdin. Like, Very good. But uh, I mean, I don't really feel like I don't. Beauty and the Beast is cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I thought the Beast was cool. Yeah, he was cool. Uh, Lumiere was my guy. Yeah, very uh, red. Yeah. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> Brie Larson. Oh, this is fucking good. Yeah. It what about? Solid. What's she talking about? She's a little fussy. She is. Yeah, she's upset. I saw that. Notes, but she's I sad because I feel like she's not really gotten her, um, maybe her due. In the Marvel universe, people don't seem to really have like a lot of. She's respect. not as like celebrated as like the Correct, uh, yes. Iron Man and the Captain America. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. She felt. I guess she got a lot of like heat when Captain Marvel came out. I don't remember that though. I don't remember her getting. I do. She negative got negative press. Basically, from what I heard, is that she's not likable. Like as a person, yeah. Like she seems a was little like standoffish and. Kind of yeah, a little reserved, maybe. Quirky. She's not like a super um, bubbly. She's not, yeah, yeah, she's not like a Robert Downey or something where she's kind of like a commanding the room. I don't think, you know. And I also think she gets a bad rap because Captain Marvel is not likable. Yeah, in the comic the books, she's written to not be likable. Interesting. She's written to be very. Uh, I'm trying to look for uh, very policeman. Mm. Very. Uh, law foot forward. Gotcha. And 
in a lot of stories, sometimes that can come off as very like, you don't have to do this. And she, her character is very much like, yeah, yeah, we have to do this and we're going to do it. And it's, it's not really likable. Yeah. I guess I, one story I can point out in particular is the uh, civil war two. Oh, made me hate her. Mm. She's not very likable in that. So that, I kind of think that's the character influence they're going with for the MCU, which in turn then kind of makes it seem like she's not a likable person. Yeah. But I like I haven't seen anything that makes her not. I feel like she doesn't really get much screen time. That I mean, either, yeah. That movie's several years old, and yeah. she's not really appeared very much nah. in, the, in like the catalog as a whole. And then in like Endgame, she, she just in. came in the beginning and the end, and that was it. Yeah. And then she wasn't even in Infinity War, was she? No. Mm, no. No. She wasn't even in it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Marvel came after. And then she, yeah, yeah. She's, ca- yeah, she doesn't really, she's not really gotten very much screen time. So she, I get, I get it. Like, I understand why people might not be as connected to her. I thought it was strange, though, that she was kind of so outspoken about being like, eh, I don't know if I'm coming back. I think she kind of wants to, wants to be the anchor, kind of wants things to be centered around her. Yeah. I get that. But that's just not her character. Very, very important character to the Marvel mythos, but she's not. Not it. Not like the it person. Yeah. Um, which is unfortunate. Mm-hmm. You know, you would think if you're playing like a comic book character, superhero franchise, you'd be excited about it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess she just feel like she's on the bench or whatever. Yeah. Tell me about um, the werewolf by night. Um, so <clears throat> Marvel had this comic book. Uh, line called like Tales of Suspense. Yeah. It's where Doctor Strange originates from. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like stories, multiple stories compiled into like one little comic book. Yeah. And like Doctor Strange, Tales of Suspense, uh, Werewolf by Night was was like one of them. And it's kind of like the classic horror Mm. type of vibe like that and Man-Thing. Um, where these characters never really had like a a jumping off point with their own comic book, they could live in here and kind of tell these small stories. And uh, they're just kind of more of like niche classic type of things I feel like Marvel can experiment with and just have fun. Yeah. And it's supposed to be like a Halloween special. It's not going to be Is it coming out this year or no? Yeah, like next month. Oh, wow. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Damn. Is there a trailer for it or just yes. they just announced it? No, nah, there's a trailer for it. All right. Yeah. I gotta check that out. Yeah. Um it seemed like there was a lot of Star Wars stuff. I felt like there was too much Star Wars stuff. Too much. I I you feel, feel like, like they're really kind of jumping the every time they do an a Marvel uh, Disney does a thing, they show like twenty titles. Yeah. And then you never know what's coming next. So I didn't see like Mandalorian season three title uh trailer. Honestly, but they did they did have one. There. They have one. It's just yeah. not out yet. I don't think I think it is. I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh, I've not seen it. I thought uh, they said it. They didn't release it. Uh, there's again uh, Andor, which is the prequel to Rogue One. Yeah, and then there's Skeleton Crew. I don't really know what that's about. Isn't there just a photo of that? Uh, yeah, I don't think they released like any like no video. Of I don't it. think that trailer is out. And then there's Bad Batch season two coming back, which is about uh, the um, the group of rogue uh, stormtroopers mm-hmm. that were genetically modified. I mean, they're all genetically modified, yeah. but they were like differently genetically modified to like stand out. And each one of them specializes in a different thing and they kind of turned on the other, on the empire, blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, I, I didn't really get into like all the Star Wars shit. Like, I just kind of like, all right, let's see. It. I feel like it was just too much. Yeah, it's always too much with Star Wars shit. I'm a Star Wars fan, but when they do like the panels and yeah. they give you so much, and it's just like, oh, like all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harrison Ford, a little upset about Indy Five. It's his last outing. Yeah, I thought that I was that was special. I thought it was special for him. I think it's special if it's good. If it's good, I'm that's a such big, a key thing. Are you are you Indiana Jones like? Yeah, that's you get excited for. It? Oh yeah, my one dog's named after Indiana Jones. Damn, that's right. Yeah, it's true. I I feel like I know these things about you, but then I see some. I it never like clicks. And yeah, then I'm like, oh shit, that's right. Yeah, yeah. big Indiana Jones fan. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited for it. I felt like Harrison Ford probably his, I don't know. I feel like he should have stepped down maybe a little while ago. Not that they are going to transition it to anybody. Like I'm not trying to dog the guy. I just feel like 85 is a little old to be an I action feel like hero. The last Indiana Jones, he just, 
he was just there. It felt, yeah, it felt a little like he was a touch too old for the for the role. So I feel like now we're, I don't know, what is it, like 10 years later? Yeah. Um, and I can't imagine he's going to look any sharper. This should have been the Chris Pratt reboot. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm not Chris, but anybody. Uh, Shia LaBeouf was. Really? I think the original intent was Shia LaBeouf because he's in the the last one. Remember? That's As right. his son. At, oh, so was he going to take over? I think that that's what they were thinking. Remember in the end of it, in like the last shot when he's walking out of like the church or Oh, whatever, and he's got the shit he on. He picks up the hat oh. and then uh, Harrison Ford takes it back from him. Like Shia LaBeouf <laughs> picks it up to put it on and then Harrison Ford takes it back and he's like, I'm not done with that yet. Oh. Uh, so given the Shia LaBeouf shit train he's on, he's probably not going to be back for this. I guess it depends on which direction they went with it. I think they're going to try to keep Indiana Jones a pretty, uh, like, if they decide to continue it on without Harrison Ford, which I could see them canceling, like, any future installments, but it is Disney, so if they wanted to reboot it or bring it back, I could see that too. It seems like they would want to have somebody that's a little bit more (laughs) family-friendly. Probably. I think Shia LaBeouf would be great. I think he's, I like, I like a person like that. It's got some, shit yeah. going on like yeah. that always brings like something to yeah. an actor or actress for me so i like i can appreciate that as opposed to something that's just like a, like a super clean track record or we don't know or something i don't know shia labeouf's got some grit to him that i kind of enjoy so i could yeah. see him in that role performance wise performance yeah, wise yeah, yes yeah, sure. but it would have to be probably a a dialed like the I don't know the family factor would probably have to be dialed back a bit. It'd have to be probably a little bit more like rough and tough yeah. kind of Indiana Jones. Yeah, I would. a darker portrayal for him to fit well. I don't think he's going to be very Disney Plus friendly. Nah, yeah, he seems a little. Past I agree. That. He seems like he's past that. Although you know Transformers and all that. I don't know. I mean, he could have his own renaissance. Yeah, at he some hasn't point. really had a resurgence. You know, like he's been around, but he hasn't really like come back. Yeah. Like Josh has come back from his PTO. You got to like work-life balance, <laughs> you know? Mictors, everybody's feeling good about it. You're enjoying it. Did I win this week? I think you won this week. This is pretty ah, good. I've never had it before. Ah. It's very nice. Uh, Isaiah won this week. You won this week. Yeah, uh, I guess Isaiah picked it out. I paid for it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, get some, I get some credit. Can't just let him have it. No, no. Now tell me a little bit about like price point. Other 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 very there's other variations, right? Like they have a rye, I'm assuming. Well, this was the only Isaiah. This was the only one, right? Um, At that at the store. So they had the small batch. There's these. They had the small batch, and they had the rye. There's also the single barrel. I didn't see none of that. I just saw this one. Okay. Well, yeah, it was like fifty five, which was. Beltway has the bourbon, the rye, and the American whiskey. So we'll do the do the rye. Next okay. Time so this is the bourbon. This is the bourbon. I got. And there's a rye specifically because. And it's then bourbon. there's an American. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the American? American. They're forty forty nine fifty and fifty. So. Okay, so all kind of in the same price yeah. point. Yeah. Sour mash. No. Mm. Oh wow! Wow. They've got a few things in the catalog. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, they are, you know, one America's of America's in, first, whatever that 25 year old bourbon. This whole boy. Oh boy. You all right? I'm great. Are you okay? Yeah, why? I'm just asking. I yeah. need to check in on you. Oh no, yeah. I'm 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 looking at notes on the phone here. You okay, Josh? Yeah. Oh, I'm great. I'm having a great time, boys. <laughs> Dialing in. Josh has got googly eyes over there. Does he? Yeah. He's all excited. <laughs> there he is. Is your computer working? Yeah, it's working fine. You get that Chrome going. Good. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like crying. Now, okay, so Josh, you weren't here last week. We yeah. talked about Apple briefly. Oh, we great. Yeah, Perfect. we talked about the uh, Apple Watch Ultra. I'm surprised that it does. Oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> you have any thoughts on the Ultra? I was texting it's Zach. A big bull. I was texting Zach during the announcement, and when that, when the, what's it called, Dynamic Island came up. So the Ultra was one. Mm-hmm. I heard all, Apple Watch Ultra, and I went, fuck that. <laughs> and then I and then Dynamic Island they said that and I see this the bubbles in the message and I type Dynamic Island fuck me and at the same moment I hit enter I get back 
Dynamic Island. Fuck you, Dynamic <laughs> Island from him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's an incredible thing. Um, Apple Watch, all, I mean, for $100 more, much bigger battery. Yeah, but it's a, is it only $100 more? Nice. It is only $100 more than the stainless. Okay, oh, so God, that's key. You, you, yeah. you a stainless guy? I'm a stainless all the way. Oh, wow. You got sapphire, go baby, sapphire. Oh my gosh. Shit don't crack. Yeah. I yeah. should go sapphire. 100 meet. what is it, 100 meters dive computer. Like yeah, the, but like, the, is that is you that don't a, need it? Yes, yeah, no one do? needs it. But the big battery that might be nice. Is it worth a hundred dollars? Bigger screen, that bigger battery. battery? Is what it's worth big it watch, though. Big watch. Yeah, it's big. Forty nine. That's bigger than your hand, I imagine. Yeah, no, it's not going on this wrist. No, this, this, if little, I, if, this wrist. No, if I get that watch, I wouldn't be able to lift that thing up. I'm yeah. fighting crime. <laughs> yep. I mean, you could probably <laughs> knock people out with it too, and it wouldn't break. So yeah. I'm doing everything, yeah. any and everything I can to yeah. challenge. You just walk up the and limitations, just hit, the little, hit the little squealer, the little siren, <laughs> <laughs> clear the area. I, Done. I, whatever I can do. Done. Are you getting an Apple Watch Ultra? I don't think I'm going to get an Apple okay, Watch. You're I do. Off. I do think I need a new watch. I'm on a four, but yeah, it's four years. Four years old now. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, next I think year it won't one. be supported, so I think it's time for us. Yeah, I think it's, this is the last OS. Me too. Yeah, I might ride out. I I have a six. I want a product red. I think I might get a product red. You want a red watch? Yeah. That seems... Gang, gang. Uh, I don't know. I just said that. No. <laughs> uh, what? When that one dies, he's getting a new one. Oh. Yeah, I don't... Again, we talk about it all the time. I don't think a watch is a necessary upgrade every year. Like, it, it yeah. just kind of... No. It's a watch. Especially when they're not changing anything. Right. No. I thought the Ultra was going to be, I said this last week, but I thought the Ultra was going to look more like the Series. Like, I thought the Series 8 was going to look more like the Ultra. Mm. I didn't realize there was going to be like this giant, like... Huge difference. Yeah. Know, big difference in size, and it was going to be like designed for, you know, explorers and stuff like that, which seems like a stupid... Is it going to charge the same way? Like yeah, it charges the same, the same way. Charge. They've, Although, actually, they've actually put out a, a, a K-Base article. Yeah, there's a document on this. It may You may need to angle the charger differently because yeah. of the bigger face. See, too big. See, they yep. fuck, fucking up. Yep. Too big. Yep. Too big. But it looks cool. I mean, that's what she said. I'd, I'd like to. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> the yep. Those bands are slick. You like the bands. Yes. But also, you can put those bands. On a regular watch. Yeah. Regular watch. Yeah. So, on a regular watch? What do you mean on a regular watch? Like a regular, not the ultra. Uh, oh, there was the, rumor they wouldn't be compatible. You're saying that the the actual connection points are compatible. Yeah, they're a little, gotcha. a little like maybe these are half that, a meter off. These are things that I'm not looking for in the keynote. I miss that. <laughs> yeah. The in like the you know the little intricacies. I have a watch band. I've always been this way. You have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one. Mm -hmm. One band. Mm. And I get a new one like when demo gets yeah because thrown out. You know, let me know. Yep, I'm a few years out on this. This is, I think, the 2019 Pride Band. I haven't gotten a new one in a while. Yeah. I really like the Pride Bands. We're yeah. allies here. People yeah. really collect That's those right. things out there, though. I saw Mike DeMarco mm -hmm. was selling his. Oh, he's he a had chump. like he's he an like, idiot. No, oh, right. fucking no way he's selling 25. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, 25 no, Mike, I no. hope you're fucking listening. I mean, good <laughs> for him. But at the same time, that's a lot of work. It is a lot. I actually took the loop. I like disconnected it from the watch the other day. He was like fused It's in there. Yeah. Oh, yep. yeah, man. Hasn't yep. seen daylight since I bought it. Nah. Yeah. My God. My God. You went with the purple phone too, right? Oh, yeah. Jeez, that splashed up. Max. Purple Max. Yeah. Oh, I got to see it in person. 512. My God. It's like, probably it's go like having an iPad mini in your pocket. It really is. Yeah, yeah. It's not, around. bro. It's not that big, bro. That's big. It's not a big phone. It is. It is that, a big phone. Yeah. You, I am really worried about it. Yeah. It's, it's, how it's, how it's, I was using her Everything on the table shaking. It's about the same size and- it's it's word, and yours is actually a little smaller. But you, you went max. Yeah. On the oh my gosh. That big, yeah. You get the bigger battery. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I walk with a limp if I've got that in my pocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like down on one side. That thing's huge. It's like crip walking <laughs> accidentally. Yeah. George Costanza from Seinfeld. We yeah, got the and big I wear wallet. like I got tight <laughs> pants, man. I can't fit that in my pocket. You know, it's not. Gonna yeah, work for I understand. Me. I I understand. <sighs> All right, purple. Max, Purple. my gosh! Anything else from the keynote that excited you? No. Um, yes. No. AirPods. Be AirPods no, guy. There was. No? There's You're no not an AirPod guy. There's no right. difference. Very good. Um, I do. So? I do kind of like the dynamic island. As dumb as the name is, I think. Oh that's yeah, no, I think it looks cool. great. It's a genius um, like UI yeah. design. Like whoever came up with that. Yep. Chef's kiss. brilliant. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's because of their because they're using LED that they can they can command the firmware to. 
to to black out certain points of the display so it can expand, right? Yeah, it's just the it's just a picture. The lack of an image, pixelation. That's what is all it is. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. yeah, because it's OLED, it's it's that's, black as black. So, did you see that there's actually display between the pill and the camera lens, yeah, yeah, and that, that it just yes. is turned off? Yeah, yep. it'd be interesting to see if that ever changes. Like yep. if you could ever manipulate just turn it on yeah. or alter it. Yeah, and they're putting one of the the proximity sensor under the display also. Mm. Like that's permanent. It's it's below the dynamic island, is my understanding. What is that going to do? Well, you're, you know. Determines proximity. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's usually what proximity sensors do. No, but I mean, what is it going to do being on the front of the display now? It's always there. It's, it's just always? currently covered it just, in glass. It just used to just not be glass. behind the, like, display itself. Oh, okay. It used to be, like, in the cutout, right? Like, mm -hmm. the notch. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, whatever they yeah. called it. I the notch, right? Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it looks cool. Very good. All right. I like it. That's the Apple Did you discuss the, the severance? Link, you know, end. I didn't. I I did rewind it, and I saw the severance, severance yeah, clip yeah, yeah. at the end. It definitely yep. is. Um, I wasn't sure what to take away from it. Um, some people had some theories that season two, yeah, about season two, that it meant like they were going to be leaving the, the compound basement or whatever, like whatever the floor is that they were on. Mm -hmm. Which I felt like wasn't really that great of a theory though because they've already left right in the end of season one yeah they're they've already they're already like, out they're out yeah. overtime mode yeah yeah. yeah 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 and they've kind of kind of cracked the code of but the there's wall no, there a little bit but i mean we haven't seen a subway yet like that's it makes, true it makes me think that they're gonna go let's go to the big city you know? that's true yeah at that mm. point that's a valid point i guess mm. the subway piece is different yeah. yeah how many other places are severed in the in the like, is it just this campus? Or yeah, is it right. like yeah that, West, that, that, that West World shit? Where yeah. is it like? Is it just here, or is it like out in the world? Yeah, part of me actually thought that they were going to cut it out of the rebroadcast I file. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. when I went to watch it back, because like when you first go to like replay it, they're like it's not available yet. So I was like, damn it, I was like, they they're going to cut shit that out. Yep, I thought. And the then same sure thing. enough, it was in there. Nice, yeah, clever. I don't know, but that uh, not that we're going to go too hard into the Emmys because I don't have any. I didn't write anything down about it, but um, that was nominated for a lot of things. Was, yeah, uh, Severance. I think it won a few things too. No, I don't recall. I passively watched the Emmys. That was what Monday. Mm -hmm. was so much shit on TV. So it was the Emmys. I'm a big wrestling guy, so I was still watching Monday Night Raw. It was Monday Night Football. Yep. Uh, which was a sh the shittiest game out of all for for the games on Sunday to be so fucking good, and then the Monday Night game to be so shitty. I just was like, you guys got to do better. Maybe I watched some of it. I didn't watch the end. It was mm -hmm. bad football. It was bad. Football is right. Thank, sports. Thank the sports gods. Sports. sports. We are about to enter. I was saying this the other day. We're about to enter like the 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 crowning jewel of sports season, where all of the sports are going to be on at, at the one same time. time. So football, baseball, basketball, and hockey are all gonna just kind of. What's the window of that? Uh, two maybe, weeks, three maybe weeks, maybe two, three weeks. Like, yeah. not it's not long, but it's like right there. My wife is pissed. It's just, yeah. just like see it. It does seem time. like it's a late season for baseball. Like, I know obviously all the seasons are kind of playoffs for baseball start around October. Yeah, yeah. I feel like normally it's middle of. Isn't it normally middle of to end of September? I don't know. Last <sighs> night at the game, they said there were twenty. The O's had twenty-one more games. That's which twenty-one. Is, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of games in a season because though. I'm. Dodgers fan. They're playing every night. Not an O's fan. Yeah. But cl they've already clinched the division. So so catch me up on the Orioles because I don't really track with the yeah, Orioles. Yeah, come on, Josh. Give us some give us some O's talk. Because I feel like you're an O's guy. Um, I I wouldn't say. I mean, I I, I enjoy watching baseball. More so than football. Like you track with baseball more so than football or basketball, right? Correct. Yeah. That's correct. So fill yeah. me in on the O's because I think for a long time they've been not so great. Uh, and this yeah. year, I feel like people they've have really been, been better. rallying yeah, around. Yeah, they've been much better. Yeah. Um, I mean, not significantly better though because they're still, you know, number four in the AL East. But um, yeah, I think last year kind of started this this rise. And they had a pretty we had a good, bunch of young guys will be pulled up from yeah, yeah. from AAA right. Yeah. Um, and last year I think it was that the first half of the season went really well, and then and the they second half tanked. was shit again. Yeah. And um, this season it's been pretty good uh, overall. They're above five hundred. So but we haven't clinched. You know, that's not bad. We haven't clinched the playoffs. Uh, no. Yeah. We were at one point leading the division, and now we're fucking. 
What's very interesting is that the Red Sox are doing so poorly. That yes, yeah. traditionally they do fairly well. They do well. Yankees are always going to be the Yankees. They're doing well. And the Red Sox are seven and a half games or six and a half games behind. I just hate now. that we're in the division with the fucking Red Sox, the fucking Yankees. The Jays are always great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically everybody's so pretty everybody great. Everybody that's great. Everybody's we're in the division. uphill battle. Yes, yes. indeed yeah. it is. Um, and that, I, you know, looking back now, is it is it is it the Orioles have always been bad or the teams no. that we're in the division no. with have always no, been better? they used to be good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah they had their mm-hmm. moment in the sun. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a nice chunk. <laughs> yeah, it's a substantial piece of time. Really, when you think about it. Yeah. Ownership, she says. Ownership, yeah. I didn't see these are the things that I don't track with. It's like not baseball. No, thing. I just kind of like passively watch baseball, passively watch golf, tennis, football is my shit. You take mm-hmm. in way more than I do. I've mm-hmm. contemplated getting into like college football. I've not done that yet. So, I do just. I, the only thing I really track with is the NFL. I watch that. That's about it. I think with college football, what you got to do is not do anything. Just fucking watch it. Because there's, oh, what, 300 fucking teams? You can turn on any fucking college football game and just fucking Yeah, love it, but there's a, there are like elite college football teams, right? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. like ones that people track with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You can, yeah, yeah you can yeah. do the AP top 25. That's what I'm and saying. And just kind of like watch those games. Like not every college football game is broadcast. No, 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 That's no, what I'm saying. No. Like it's not like the Towson football team is. <sighs> Fuck no. Yeah. It's not. Not a, not everybody's going to a rec room on a Saturday to watch, watch Towson. Towson no. Yeah, that's what I'm no. saying, though, right? So, they get sometimes like, ba- like I won't say football, but sometimes the Maryland teams kind of get a push in basketball, right? Like the Terrapins. Uh, Maryland usually does well. We had UMBC make the make the uh, final what final four no final eight. Yeah, they made it to the tournament like a couple years ago, like the like the championship tournament. Like yep. they made a six, significant run. Um, I think Morgan won. Like they were on TV for like the HBCU Classic. I mean, then nobody's checking for them, but like sometimes these. Well, Maryland is, yeah, Maryland is a basketball like town. So like if, a college basketball town. Those well, crab cakes and football, man. But much more crab cakes and football. All right. Well, we've really dedicated a lot of time, time to, to sports, sports that we never do. <laughs> yeah. So we're really losing yeah. anybody that's here for the other things. But before we get off sports, do you have any thoughts on the uh, most controversial topic in the NFL right now, which is the Lamar contract? Is paying, paying motherfucking Lamar? Paying, man. We're talking about the Seahawks jersey. Sorry. God. 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 Fucking flubber. Yeah, that's <laughs> worth talking about. Sorry, they have the worst jerseys in the NFL. I don't think so, man. I like Hands the color. Down. No. They look like idiots. I right fucking, there. I mean. That is like the worst neon green. It's not, it's terrible. It It is dull neon, just like how dull the weather is in Seattle. It it's matches. Not, it's not dull. It's not dull. No. They look Dude. radioactive. Yeah, you could, if they were on the moon, you, you could like, I, You like, I don't know, man. I think it's kind of like, it looks know. like they're just doing motion capture. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It looks like they're doing motion capture for a video game. It's true. <laughs> I never absurd. thought about that. Terrible. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind worse it. Worse than the NFL. Who do you think's worse? Uh, Give me a worse NFL uniform. I hate three, two, one. I hate the Saints uniform. Really? This is kind of very video game ish. Like created, created the, a team. Like the gold, the black. Yeah, just kind of like, oh yeah, we got these colors on. Like, just, just very high school. Steelers Dude. prison uniform. Uh, those fucking. It's funny, she did those, just lean in and said, "I was like, I have no idea." Aren't what you're talking those about. are the Steelers? Uh, the prison uniforms. Is that a throwback <laughs> uniform? Though? Yeah, it's a, pr- right? a throwback. It's yeah. not like a. No, it's not. It's this. not one of their tr- like standard no. uniforms. No, right? no. And doesn't every team do a throwback outfit every year? Isn't that like a thing? Yeah. yeah you get, you get, uh, they get their choice of alternates. I think three times a year. Yeah. So like okay. the classic teams have like a, a really some, awful throwback. Yeah, some bizarre throwbacks. The Patriots, sure, sure. Packers, yep. Packers have that blue and, uh, the blue and brown, which is fucking terrible. Okay. All right. So now that we've established the Seahawks have the worst outfit and we're all <laughs> in agreement. Um, Lamar's contract? Pay the man. Okay. What would you pay him? I have some very, very significant takes. I feel like pay the man is just 
No, no. All it's right. not helpful so for you because I think they're trying to pay. I got, him. I got. They're feelings. trying to pay him. I got feelings. They right? are trying to pay him. He wants guaranteed money. No, I get that. Yeah, for sure. And he appealed to the the players association. They justified his want for guaranteed money. Mm-hmm. My problem is for you to be a NFL MVP and significant top tier athlete to not have representation going into these talks is damaging. Do you think that's I, the case? Very much so. Very much so. He be- seems to have a good working relationship. That's the sense that yeah. I get. Or that could all be for show. I, I, from what we see and from what's talked about, everyone is respectful and likes each other. Yeah. But correct. when it comes down to business, you need some representation in that room. My, he's got his mom in there. Yeah. Nego- like your mom's not an agent. Well, let's. I think on. she is. Do you want your she mom? She is now. What is, uh, you can't like if Lamar Jackson called me tomorrow and was like, "Hey, I want you to negotiate for me." Boom, I'm his agent. Whether I want to be it or not. Are you an agent though? Doesn't matter. I'm Lamar Jackson's agent. But you're not a sports agent. Is somebody certifying agents? No. Yeah. No. Nah, I'm with you. But here. you yeah. got to know the business, right? I don't know if you nah. do. You have to, man, because there they are nuances. You should. It's yes. helpful. I, I get what you're saying. Right? Yeah, he should have someone that knows, but to be an agent, no, you don't. That's right. To. Yeah, I mean, fucking Ari it's Gold. like a home inspector. Yeah, Ari Gold yeah. decided that he wanted to be an agent one day and just was agent. Right. Of course. Yeah. Even if that is like the best offer that they can get. I don't blame the Ravens in this situation. Unfortunately, yeah. I blame Lamar for not having representation because if he had an agent, because there are things that are talked about and said when, he's not there. when he is not there that they can't say to him. Right. And they can't say to his mother. Right. That's just when you're negotiating. What do you think that those things are? I don't know. They're just it just comes with it just comes with the territory of negotiation in this yeah. instance. Right. Like, all right. So can we talk about this? You can't talk about those things with his mother like you can't. I don't know what those things are. I don't know what they are either. I don't think you know that those saying? things exist, though. I don't. There's, the, uh, there's, so there's a theory out there saying that uh, the Ravens don't really have the money to pay I thought about that as well. I was like, uh, do we have? Do we even have the money? Which is an interesting piece of this whole puzzle. And I'm, I'm not really sure how all of this works, like where the money comes from, who has it, how much you're allowed to spend. But I've always thought it's interesting when quarterbacks demand far above and beyond what a lot of other players are making because doesn't like aren't there caps on what you can spend on so the on cap people? is like, like yearly. on a team as a whole though yeah, yeah but yeah. doesn't but if you guarantee i understand that but if you guarantee lamar all this cash doesn't that pu- pull from the pool of available resources for other players that yes. you could have right yeah, so yeah but for every year that he would be on the team though yeah. right yeah Yeah. It's gone. Correct, right? So now the but the team then suffers because you can't afford to pay anyone else to come in. Right. Correct. So I'm always a little surprised that quarterbacks don't like recognize that. It seems like if Lamar was like, listen, I want to win a lot of Super Bowls, I need to come in and like not destroy the budget. I need to be modest. Like I get it. I get it. He wants to get paid. I understand. I'm he's a he's a a unique talent. He certainly is. But wouldn't you want to be like, I need to leave enough on the table that we can get some other good players in here that like I have somebody to work with? Because if you're getting paid, you know, it's I, look, know at the, look at yeah, the look at the Patrick Mahomes. But if he's guaranteed, approach. the team doesn't have to do well and he's still getting paid. He's still getting money. Yeah, but he kind of holds up the image that like the game and winning Super Bowls and like he's here for the passion of it. So you're so you're saying that that might not be true. So that is probably true, but also there's ways of front loading and back loading. Yeah. As he goes, yeah. Yes, but if it's guaranteed money, isn't that less likely? Nah, he, you can always renegotiate. You're saying you could pay him out over longer periods of time. Yeah, look at the look at the Patrick Mahomes contract. Ten years, five hundred million dollars. Yeah, right. Like he's like, I'm not going anywhere. Sure, I'll take the five hundred mil over ten fucking years. Most of it's on the back end. Yeah. I'll get it. Assuming he's uh, right. viable for two Exactly. Years. But he's got like 230 guaranteed. Yeah. Which he will get. That's his. Sure. Right. And I'm, he's got great representation that was like, look, why don't we do it this way? 
That's the way. That's the way you negotiate a contract for a quarterback. I think you should be his agent. Me? I'm yeah. Call him. Call, I think you could yeah. be. Yo, yeah, Lamar, if you hear this, yeah. I will go in the room and talk that shit. Yeah. Now, what do you think about his Damn viability it? over ten years? I think because I think that's probably the biggest thing in question, right? Is his? Yeah. I think uh, health. Yeah. I so think, I think, but that's obviously what everybody's. That's what he's banking on. I think it was probably a fake injury also last what, season. So oh, probably also what the Ravens are banking on. Yeah. My my theory is it was a fake injury Do in a contract me. year last year. To, so we knew we weren't going to go far in the playoffs with no talent because everyone's hurt. So why let our franchise quarterback go out there and fucking rip and run the field to not take us? Yeah. Fake this injury. But he can also go out there and play the part and not double down. Like he could just dump the ball and he doesn't have to be a superstar every week. If like I he was could the play front office, football. I'd say you're injured. Don't play. We're not going to go far. He plays the sure. win. Let's, no, let's, I, I get that. Yeah, yeah. I get that. But it seems like, I, and we're getting way too into this, but <laughs> I do are, yeah. I do feel as if, I feel like not playing our starters, not playing Lamar in the preseason is always detrimental to us. Because I feel like they get out there week one and things are a little weird and things are a little squirrely. And when we made it to the pre when we made it to the postseason that one year and they didn't play Lamar for two games, then and then the Titans destroyed us, just w like ripped us apart. Right. Like those periods of time where you just think you're the shit, so you just ease off the gas because you just assume that, you know, when you get back on like the you course, get back on the phase, you're gonna be, be good okay. to go. I, I always feel like that's a a very strange like dynamic to kind of overcome. I feel like that's something that he struggles with. Well, I think or the Ravens struggles with, I guess in particular. That is true from a fan perspective, but they work out and see him every day. So they know what he's capable of. Yes, but he spends a well, he spends a lot of time. He spent the bulk of the off season in Florida training with other people. No, that's true. I mean, mm -hmm. he was playing with Antonio Brown for you know oh, six months, dude. Yeah, okay. I mean, and that's he's not on he's not on the Ravens team. No, but why wouldn't him and like Rashad Bateman be throwing passes? That I would much rather him here in Owings Mills. Thank you. But that's yeah. but that's my point. I his his synergy though with Antonio Brown isn't like I because they post well, a lot of videos. They're, they're He's hometown always, guys together. No, I yeah. totally get that. I just feel like that synergy is not that relevant to me. Like the two of them connecting on throws or whatever doesn't doesn't do doesn't much connect for me with me. As a like fan, that's yeah. not what's gonna. That's not. I'm not going to see that this season. That doesn't. So that, yeah, care. that doesn't. Yeah. You know, result in a Super Bowl necessarily. Like, I think it's great. I'm not like hating on it. I just feel like I don't. You know, I much rather you see, see Instagram videos of you and fucking Bateman. And yeah, Jimenez exactly. Yeah, for at sure. Fan practice when they allow us in, and you're dropping bombs. Like, I much sure. rather see that. Listen, the last game was great. I enjoyed it. I will say with Lamar, I think the health thing is a concern. A oh, valid one for sure. Very much so. Now he's obviously did not do as much in the last game. I get it. We'll see what happens. However, with that, he has some consistency issues with ball mechanics. I stand by. We'll it. see. Oh yeah. He doesn't it's, like he there are it's just one some of the things other. It's that, either throwing yeah. it all game or he's running it all game. Like we don't know. But when he relies on throwing it, he throws I it. I feel like I feel like there's just some disconnects for him though. It's not it's always never like fluid. It's yeah. always I need the big I need the big play. It feels yeah. not always clean. He like misses. Like he's not. He doesn't hit a lot of guys in the numbers. I he noticed makes a people lot go of get it. Like it's. I noticed a lot of underthrown balls and yeah. overthrown balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the consistency piece yeah. that I find is a little odd after being in the NFL for like five years now. Right? He's been there for a minute. He practices a lot, plays a lot. I feel like his like him being a dynamic player and being able to move around the field a lot. That versatility is what gives him his edge. Yeah. But if you force him to be just a pocket passer, oh, he's not. That's not. It's work. a tough game because it, I don't think it holds up. Like if you watch Tom Brady now, again, those are tough people to compare. Mm -hmm. But Tom Brady is a traditional pocket passer and like hasn't used his legs yeah, in 20 years he'll hit the numbers from like you can put tabasco in his eyes and he's gonna hit the numbers <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he'll yeah. he just it's yeah. it's guaranteed yeah and i feel like with lamar it's always like <sighs> he's throwing it like <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't, I don't know i guess it I comes know. it comes with 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 age yeah i, I hope it Yes, for sure. 
Sunday? Yes. I think there's good improvement to be seen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a, I want to clarify. I'm a huge Lamar fan. I have several mm-hmm. Lamar jerseys. I want to see him in Baltimore for a long Forever. time. Forever. I would love he's to. He's our guy. I yeah, want to yeah, watch yeah. him for the next 15 years. I have yeah. no problem saying that. Like, I, I wish all the best for him. I want him to get paid 100%. I'm here for it. Yeah, me too. But anyway. Lamar, let, make me your agent, bro. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Josh, thoughts? <laughs> no, nope, uh, sounds great. My gosh. <clears throat> you really spent a lot of time on that. Yeah. But hey, man, it's hey. football season. We're passionate mm, about it. We're Baltimore guys. Hey, you know what? We dedicate, a, if, if I'm being honest, during the football season, a lot of my watch time gets dedicated to football. So there's going to be less on, the, less on the watch list. Yeah, uh, that too. Um, all right, we're going to burn through some things. Let's do it. We're really... We're cutting it. You know, ah, well, it is mm. what it is. All right. Avatar, Way of the Water continues to impress the 3D footage. That's what I have written down. Everybody keeps hyping up the 3D footage. I'm calling bullshit on bullshit. that. Um, Can we as a group call bullshit on the 3D footage? No, I think it's going to look great, but I don't think uh, the 3D footage is as popular or as appreciated as James Cameron thinks that it I is I don't want to wear these fucking glasses. In the He's very, that was going to be my question. This is glasses based, obviously. Oh, of course. Yeah. I don't don't look at me like that. You look at me like I don't know what 3D is. No, that's oh, what you just said. I was waiting with I, your eyes. <laughs> it's going to be a four-hour film, and you're going to be wearing glasses. I don't want to wear these fucking no. glasses. You're uh-huh. going to be over there at Cinemark, and nope. I don't want to do it. The nope. staff is going to be terrible. Nope. And the little fucking plastic fucking baggies. Yeah. I don't want to. I feel like it ran its course. Like 3D movies. It's over. And it ran its course. Why are we still doing this? Well, James Cameron seems to think he feels future. differently. Still from he feels 15 different. years ago. Future. All right. Fucking feels easy. very differently. All right. So we're still not in on Avatar. Uh, they did not release any of the footage, so I can't speak to it, but everybody keeps raving about it. Uh, George Clooney says his Batman is better than Ben, uh, Benny Boy, Benny Affleck. Benny, hmm. Benny, Benny Boy. I feel like everybody has come out and kind of claimed that their Batman is the best Batman. Yeah, because it's been so fucking I think many. you kind of have to, though. It's like you kind of have to. If you play Batman, you I think you can come out and say that you're the I think best. His, I think his Bruce Wayne was great. Uh, the movie was kind of campy, but but that's like it's that's in its that place. era. It was yeah, that's it was campy. Yeah. So and if you're gonna be in the campy zone, that's the place. Yeah. It's great. I think the campiest was a uh, well, yeah. George Clooney had the nipples on the bat suit, right? Yes, correct. Big yeah. nipples. Speaking yeah. of, I'm trying to keep mine in tonight. <laughs> I yes. spent one episode. Yeah, I spent one the, episode of my prob- nipple out the you, whole time. Both of you have this problem. Hey, is my dick showing? I can <laughs> my, my nipples. My nipples. <laughs> Let me just clarify. I spent one episode with a nipple just out here. the whole time, just and staring at the camera. We gotta hire like a, somebody for this. It was like a third eye, <laughs> but yeah. it was down here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so imagine trying, having an eye nipple. You know, just, uh, I've not yes. worn a cutoff shirt since, dude. Yeah, I took over. I took yeah, over. You did. Yeah. I thought we were gonna be together <laughs> on this, but here you are in a hoodie. Well, this anyway, is this was this as a, we how many were layers the, do you have on right now? Not just two. We were in the car, and I was like, "This is my favorite time of year because I can get away with the hoodie, seventy degrees." We you go get out with the hoodie and the shorts. Boom! It's fifty five, fifty degrees outside, and I'm ready. Yeah, ninety. At oh, now the during day. the day, I had just a t shirt on. Yeah, coming here, I threw on the hoodie. Threw the, I throw the hoodie on. Yeah. God bless, dude. I love yeah. it. I love to see it. Um, but um, but um, but um, all right, moving off of George Clooney, uh, Timothy Chalamet. Did mm-hmm. you see this? Uh, it reveals that the advice Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> gave him was that he should never do a superhero film and no hard drugs or date women over 25. Well, that's a yeah, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I guess it's assumed with I him. mean, Timothy's still young, it's kind of still his pocket. I agree with the hard drug shit. Like, I wonder what the superhero thing is about. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio, I feel like is, you know, it's it's definitely above and beyond him, I would say. uh, Maybe not above and beyond him, but it's in a different place. mm -hmm. For sure. I just don't think it's his vibe. vibe. Sure. Right? Like you, I think Leo is an actor's actor. I'm going in this portraying something that's never been betrayed before. Yeah. He's also in a place where he can kind of command whatever he wants to do. When you do a superhero or an IP, you're not really you're bringing something else to life. You're not bringing, you're not creating the character. You got to play a character. Yeah. Leo does great work at creating this character yeah, that we've he never is his seen. Own right. He is the, yeah, he the, doesn't want to be somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. Where Tom Holland has to be Peter Parker. Uh, 
Robert Downey Jr. has to be Tony Stark, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Leo's like, I don't want to be those guys. I want to be who I am when I create these characters. Yeah, so Timothy Chalamet is going to follow in the same footsteps, it seems. This, I saw yesterday or this morning something about, and and now I'm seeing it's an older article, Mads Mikkelsen saying that method acting is bullshit. (laughs) <laughs> I, saw that oh, I saw this yeah i read yeah, about that right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very it's a very american thing and it's bullshit and i feel like that might be mm-hmm. uh leo's kind of part of it like yeah no, you yeah. just bring what you want to it and just do it, it almost is becoming a little bit though of a badge of honor in a sense if you can be a super successful actor or actress without doing superhero films it's niche now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like there aren't very many that are just like above and beyond in their like career that haven't I'm trying to think it. like who is besides leo that's in the same realm yeah right it's very tough tom tom cruise not anybody that's in his like maybe age demographic because you class. can say like robert de niro like there's obviously a lot of like classic actors that obviously have not yeah. been superheroes thus far but um yeah tom cruise leo's maybe. in his in his 40s right yeah i think he's in his mid 40s i think the only other people uh, leo uh, yeah mid 40s He's got to be uh, forty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, late forties, dude. Yeah, he's he. Oh no, no. Nah, he's he's Gilbert Grape, bro. Yeah, sixteen. Titanic. Yeah, Titanic. <laughs> yeah, the Titanic. <laughs> was it Ryan Rose, Dawson? Is that what his name was? Rose, I'm cold. <laughs> oh, Jack Dawson. Jack Dawson. Jack, yeah, Jack Dawson. Dawson. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you remember in the basement we were after? I think it was after a brunch, maybe for John Ralston's birthday, and. Joe Dix is like up against the screen from the Titanic. He he's like, like drunk. He's like, he's like, wait for it. Oh, they're sailing. And he's like standing in front of the screen <laughs> like this, arms out reaching. And it goes dark. Yes. John uh, Ralston. John. Fucking love him. Shout out to John Ralston. If you know who John Ralston is. Man, my God. All right. So Leo's not a he's over the uh I'm trying to think stuff. who's in his class. Of, there's uh, not much. There's dude. not many. There's not much. I can't think of anybody that is like a child actor that has trans- like that has transcended all of those things. You know what I mean? Like there are like Shia LaBeouf was at like had that opportunity. He was almost there, but yeah. didn't. Ryan yeah. Gosling had that opportunity, but not ever quite as big. Like never had those blockbusters. Yeah. Like Ryan Gosling is a movie star for sure, through and through. Kid actor, all that good stuff. You watched his movie on Netflix? His latest? No, The Gray Man. Yeah, that's no, no, no. Like. yeah, yeah. I You're mean, talking? I've I've not seen it. Great, but it's not a blockbuster. It's, it's nah. not a yeah. It's not a Titanic. Yeah, I don't. It's not a uh, an Inception. Yeah, yeah. Like that hasn't happened. You know what I mean? Like Leo, if you think about it, man, hitters, bro, bangers, hitters, out the park. Yeah, <laughs> like good play, for him. He should play for the Orioles because <laughs> he's yo Leo. Don't miss, man. Wolf of Wall Street, man. One of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I'm not going any fucking where. Love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Fucking great. Yeah. There's, yeah, I can't think of any. The Quaalude scene? I can't think of anybody in that age group oh that is at that place. Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe Timothy Chalamet. We'll see. He might be the next guy. Maybe. I think he's going to be, a, he's probably, a, he's a little. He's going to do a superhero role. Mm, like, that's no, where the, he's going to be a little too niche, I think. He's going to go a little too into the woods they're paying that money because like the thing is where leo had leo had success early on like giant blockbuster success early on and he was very commercial early on and like climbed the ladder right away and then as he got older did the weirder shit I think, he got like more comfortable and chose the roles that he wanted and kind of crafted his person yeah. a little bit more because he already had the status Timothy Chalamet is a little bit different because I think he has he's. A, yeah, he has I a, mean, he, Dune is a big movie, but it's not. It's not. It's Titanic, not Titanic. Right? Yeah. So he's doing the opposite. Like he's doing some independent stuff. He's doing the weird stuff. But will he ever get those like heavy hitter? I, I think so, man. Because I think we're seeing a resurgence of the character driven movie. Mm. Top Gun, Cite Maverick. Your source. Cite your source. You know what I mean? That's my that's my staple. If Top Gun Maverick can crack the top ten, yeah, but that's. <sighs> You know what I mean? I don't know if Timothy, Ch- Timothy Chalamet has the Tom Cruise like essence, though. Yeah, I have it. I, I, okay. Tom Cruise is also a unique character, though, or a unique person. He's got that. He's got that fucking spice, dude. Scientology. That quality. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. What is it? Whatever. Whatever it is. 
What is I it? was trying to I was trying to find that joke. Yeah, the Thetans. <laughs> Whatever he's tapped into, good for him though. Sacrificing people. There's something there. Though, right? <laughs> he's doing something. Like is Timothy Chalamet gonna get that? I don't know. Who's his Who's his Hollywood OG? Is, is it Leo? Who is his? Yeah, it, it must be Leo at this point if he's like broadcasting the the, the advice he's giving him. I mean, if Leo is giving me advice, I'd take it. I mean, they're 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 like swimming the same dating pool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> that's for sure. Good, good. <laughs> God. Ooh, Johnny Depp. That's good. Okay. There it is. That was the that they, was that they, was what I was looking for. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Depp's, Depp's only fifty. He's got to be mid mid early fifties. He's yep. Gilbert yeah. Grape. Yep. They were both in Gilbert Grape. Yeah. And then he uh uh no 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 he's done so fucking much. Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, no no no. You talking about Johnny Depp? Yeah. That was his hands. No. Yes, he was that too. He was a nightmare almost Elm Street yeah. too. Yeah, the first yeah. one. Wow. Yep. I was so just, I mean, that was his feature film I debut. Was, proving was, her point though. I was too scared to watch. Child those. star. <laughs> yeah. Who right transitioned? Yeah. Had his had yeah really climbed up. Had his like huge commercial success, and he did weirder stuff. He's been doing weirder stuff. He is weird. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's nah, it. Brad Pitt's sixty ish. Mm. Brad Pitt's old. Him and Tom are like in the same kind of age. But bracket. did Brad did Brad Pitt ever have like the massive hit? Like, cause Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't. Did Brad Pitt have that? Fight Club. No, it's too small. It's too Inglorious niche. Bastards. Mm-mm. Oceans. Too Oceans. Niche. Too small. Mm. Interview with a Vampire. Uh, no. No. Because here's but the he's pro- Brad Pitt. But though. here's the problem. No, I totally get that. You know, I totally get he's that. Brad Pitt. But if you take a room of people, <laughs> everybody knows Titanic. Everybody knows Pirates of the Caribbean. Not everybody's seen Fight Club because it's too. It's called classic. Uh no, everybody. Uh, mm, you know, mm-mm. for me to be mm-mm. such a Fight Club is like one of my like Ocean's favorite movies. I haven't really like touched into the. I've passively seen Oceans. But I can give you fucking scene for scene Fight Club, you know? I understand that. But you can't, like, you can't say Titanic. Yeah, Titanic Fight is a billion dollar movie. Pirates mm, of the Caribbean? Uh, okay, Fight Benjamin Club? Button. Like, we're talking commercial success. Here's a yeah. fun fact Johnny Depp holds Pitt. up. Did we know that Brad Pitt is distantly related to our 44th president, Barack Obama? That's, I knew I liked him. <laughs> no, I did not know that. You yep. know who else is related to him? Um, what's his face from Boardwalk Empire? Michael Shannon? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. The kid. The kid? Yeah. The guy, the young guy. Yeah, it's like his cousin or something. Um, I can't remember his name. To Obama? No, 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 no. Not Brad to Obama, Pitt. to Brad Pitt. You can understand how that was confusing. I want to know more people related to Obama. <laughs> You've got to find the family tree and pull it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm more, you know what? I'm more interested to know who's related to Bill Clinton. <laughs> oh, Billy Boy. <laughs> Billy Boy. Um, oh, uh, Netflix moving to the week weekly release schedule. I think that's good for them. I think because they 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 don't really have a release schedule right now. They just kind of just drop shit. Sure, where, but that, that is the release schedule. Where HBO Max sends you, hey, we're dropping this this week, check in on Friday. Amazon does the same thing. So I think they're kind of just kind of getting in the... But wasn't some of the fun to Netflix was that you could binge the content? Like, wasn't that a part of the selling point? Oh, for me you was. mean like if they do a show, it's weekly? No, what I'm saying, yeah, Netflix is saying that they are going to shift, that they're, that they are, they've already shifted to a, like a staggered Partial, release yeah, schedule, yeah. right? Yeah. And they are now considering moving to a weekly release schedule. So a show would come out you know, every Tuesday you get an episode. Oh, that's what they're doing. I thought you yeah. would admit they were just going to release anything that they are releasing on like a certain no, day. No, 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 no. This is going to be a, every Sunday night you get a new episode of, you know, whatever. Stranger Things. Now, Stranger Things they've confirmed is going to release all at once, but I'm just saying they're they're moving away from it because they can't keep people. That's a, like a re- retention thing. Do you have more people? What you got? Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. The Hobbit. 
this holds up. What else? That's also valid. Elijah Wood holds up. He hasn't done anything like recent though. No, no, no. No, no, no. But I was like 10. But Lord of the Rings is massive. That is like Pirates of the Caribbean. And he has done done weird stuff ever since. Uh, what is Nicolas Cage's biggest? Con fucking air, bro. Mm, that's not Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I fucking love Con Air. No, the so closest. Much. The closest. Okay, first of all, Con Air is a masterpiece. It's a but great movie. The closest <laughs> thing. The closest thing Nicolas Cage has would be National Treasure. National, Treasure, National yeah. Treasures, yeah. yeah, which is big. It's oh, big. They're bringing it back. Huge. There's the TV yep. show and the huge. movies coming back. Huge. Okay, so Nicolas Cage that. That's uh, weird. What's it? How old is Nicolas Cage? Is he in Leo's uh, bracket? No, nah, he's a little older. I was fifty-eight. Yeah, he's mm. in. The, he's up there with. He's the, in the bracket, the though. OG guy. He's in the bracket. Oh, nah, nah. that's a little old. He's, that's that's kind of like no. going back to classic actors. Oh, sure, no debating oh, he's a, that. He's a yeah, legend. Yeah. No debating legend, that. He's a legend yeah, for sure. For sure. Jim Although Carrey? I would still he's wager, I would still wager that Ghostbusters is not a. Titanic. In the no, '90s, it was not. as the movie not a Lord of the Rings. industry got bigger, it kind of fell down. It's a little bit more cult, cult, yeah. Like classic. I think the franchise is classic. But it's no. bi- it's bigger than that. But like people either are really into Ghostbusters or they're like, I've seen, you know, I've had enough. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. But these are valid. I think, I think Nicolas Cage certainly qualifies yeah for sure um and what's his face from lord of the rings those are johnny depp elijah no elijah wood elijah wood counts although he's been way off the radar ever since the success he's still spending them checks they still clearing oh well i guess if we're gonna go with that then you could say um macaulay Culkin. no 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 no, not that uh god we were just talking about him transformers uh, Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, yeah Shia LaBeouf I mean Transformers is a massive series too and he really led that for three films Yeah, and he's been doing weird stuff ever since so he's kind of in that category in a sense I mean Leo is still above I think even all of the people mm-hmm. we've listed so far I think he's got like a he's got a step above all of them but yeah. but those are all pretty close that's like right in there uh, yeah. they've had like major franchises around them They've really like Leo hasn't had a franchise though. Leo nah, just has like really bangers. big hitters. And then goes to So he's a little different in that sense. He has a banger and then he goes to rec room on college night. Gets to watch the Towson and games. And then to watch the Towson. Never see him again and shit. Until the next banger and the next girlfriend. Uh um, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Uh, Brendan Fraser confirms that Batgirl was shot and conceived for the small screen. Brendan Fraser has really exploded in the last yeah. few weeks. Where's Let's this come about, from? Let's yeah, talk about BF. Where's that come my, from? He's my hero. I'm again, a man of the people, really. Encino Man, big big fan of, oh, of Dude, Encino Man is such a deep cut. And it's so good. It's so good. It's it so holds good. up today. They talked about making a sequel. Nah, leave it alone. Like recently, like a Disney Plus. Oh really? Sequel. Then it would be good. And I think Pauly Shore was going to come back. God, where is? I, I think just, I was just reading about Pauly Shore. Yeah, today. I think also. he. I think he was talking about it. We could look this up, Josh. You could search this in Cino Man sequel, Pauly Shore. I think they were recently discussing this. I and want. I, I want you Josh to verify that. But then I have a request. I bet you that could happen given the success of Brendan Fraser. Yeah, so. from late May, May 31st, nice. uh, Polly Shore teases possible in Cino Man sequel. Quote, I, I, heard I would about do this. it for the fans. Polly Shore is about the people. He loves us. That's right. If they want me to do it and the script was right and Brendan and Sean were on board and it made sense, a lot of qualifiers, uh, yeah, I would lot. do it for the fans. Yeah, but Brendan Fraser is bigger than ever right now. Yeah, sure. he's got to do you it. You don't think exactly. we're getting a mummy reboot, dude? Let's go. Let's go. Gosh. Well, he's he's old and disheveled, and they bring him back to to find a new. Yes. Yeah, let's do he's it. He's certainly. Let's I feel like I, could, I feel like I could do a, a Brendan son. Fraser impersonation, but I don't want to try it right uh, now. You know yeah. what I mean? He's got a I son. Like, I feel like I want to the... jump in, but I shouldn't. <laughs> you know? I think if you have an impersonation, you're always in a safe place to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, should, I should never. He know. has okay. a son in the Mummy movies. Really? Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Well, obviously, you need the daddy and the mummy. 
Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, for sure coming back though as the father figure and his son is now yeah. the rebellious Dad, I need you. Crypt hunter. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Do it. Yes. Disney Plus? Let's fucking go. No, don't Disney Plus this. I want a theatrical experience. I'm, I'm tired of Disney Plus taking everything that you I hate love. Disney and Plus. You hate it. No, because they water everything down. It's what that they That's they what do. Disney does. No, though. no, no. I want no, that's not true. Disney can do theatrical releases and they pour a lot of money, resources, and energy into that. Oh, you mean and when it can yeah. really slap. Okay. All and right. then on the other hand, they can do the Disney Plus series thing. And it's tremendously mediocre. underwhelming. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Kind of falls yep. flat. Yep. 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 All right. Um, but um, bum, bum, but um, uh, we've probably run the gamut. Probably going to run out of tape here pretty soon. Um, so let's just burn Time through wheel. real quick. Uh, it's tough because I lost track because I've stopped and paused a few so times. Much, so many shows. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a big right. iPad. Yeah. So let's, let's rip through this watch list real quick. Did you finish Sandman? I'm still working through okay, it. Okay, we'll talk about that next still week. Still working through she it. She-Hulk, you're watching that. House of Dragons, we're going to come back to that real quick. Invisible okay. Man, is that the show or the movie? The movie. Yeah, I watched the movie too. It's great. Bruh. I saw it when it came out. Very good. It's very I good. I appreciate a classic, classically uh, enriched horror movie yeah. re-envisioned in the modern day. Like, yeah. It was very much grounded and I love the camera work mm-hmm. where you would think he was there. Yeah. And he wasn't there. But yeah. then they would go back and like he was actually there. Like, yes. oh, it was good. It was yes. Good. It's a very fun movie to yeah. watch. Very fun movie to watch. Okay. Um, I have caught up on She-Hulk aside from the episode from yesterday. I said I wasn't going to watch it anymore. It's fine. It doesn't get any better, but it doesn't get any worse. It doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any worse. Uh, Me and my wife Rings watched of the power. Movie. We've continued that. Have you continued that? Did you do any of that? No. Mm. Did you watch any of the episode breakdowns we sent you? Mm-mm. No. Great. I will. Though. All right, man. I promise. showing up. Uh, <laughs> what we do in the shadows, I finished that and uh, 90 Day Fiance. That's funny ever because after. they were nominated for an Emmy and my Who wife was? was like, what we do in the shadows? What, what we do in the shadows. Dude. My wife was like, what is this? And I was like, I think it's been on Taylor's watch list for at least six weeks. Well, we well it has been because I've been watching. Yeah. It's been, yeah. It comes yeah, right. actively. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch it yeah. like, you know. And I was like, you got to watch the movie first and then you can jump into the show. I and- downloaded um, the the f- Wellington Paranormal, yep. which is kind of the inspiration-ish okay. kind of thing. Very different. I got one episode into it. Very, very different. It's where what you do, what we do in the shadows is kind of funny because- of what they say and how they yeah. say, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Wellington paranormal is just, uh, I mean, dry humor. It's yeah. just kind of things happen and you go, oh, he doesn't even realize it's yeah, happening. Yeah, like yeah. it's okay. funny for that reason, you know, right. Wellington is it on the plex. Yeah. What, so what you we do what? in the shadows, <laughs> what we do in the shadows is the show. Mm-hmm. You can, the movie's great too, but yeah. the show is really where oh, it like, show is all awesome. comes together. Right. Yeah. If you, you've seen some of it, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. It gets better and better. I would say, I would say season four is by, uh, like, by far the best. It's season. one of those shows like Always Sunny, The yeah. Office, where you can just tune in at any yeah. moment and be entertained, not know like any of the arcs and just enjoy it, and then be mm-hmm. like, all right, I'm a, season four is on par with Parks and Rec and The Office for me. <sighs> Season one, That's two, and heavy, three, it's a climb. Like yeah, you're getting, were, it's getting going up. better and yeah. better and better. But season four is just, they're firing on all cylinders. Okay. It's a great time for them. All right. House of the Dragon. You were tweeting about this a little bit. <clears throat> Which part? You felt, I, tweeted I don't know. You felt some kind of way about the last episode. Yo, they just love fucking their cousins. It's just so much. Cousin yeah. fucking. Well, no, it's like, it's, it's inner family. Yeah, yeah, stuff. inner family, but that's second always, cousin. That's fucking. a Lannister thing. Yeah, though. that's really that, kind of been. <clears throat> it's so uncomfortable. Well, we've that, been seeing that for years. That time frame yeah. and that, you know, that that family in like particular. The last episode was very like uncle and niece. Like that's real immediate. Yeah, and then like I, I mean, I, you I'm watched not say eight, I get it, but you watched <laughs> eight seasons of Game of Thrones, and the brother and sister were together. That's well, that way was closer. isolated to them. Right, you didn't really get too much incest. Yeah, but she's an adult by the standards of that time, though. What is she like, seventeen, eighteen, right now? No, because there's a time jump, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's an. Well, we don't know exactly how old he is. We're assuming that. Yeah, we're assuming. I'm not saying it's not weird. I'm not trying to defend it. I'm just 
We watched <laughs> We watched eight seasons of a brother and sister being together. Who wanted to be with each other? Yes. Yeah, that's also weird. Yeah, but there but did you watch all the ep- It seemed kind of predatory. I think I'm the only one that watches episode breakdowns. I'm just going to preface. But okay. the if you've watched the episode breakdowns of House of Dragons, House of the Dragon, I keep screwing up the name she has been alluding to the fact that she is in love with him the whole time yes, yes. i'm with that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. True. but I, I don't think that she's in love with him she's in love with the idea of someone like him sure he knows that sure so the way that he went about uh yeah we had this conversation so i'm gonna drop this bag off yeah 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 give you this guy the, the, the psychology around the show takes a lot of stepping out of an immediate world element and then all right i'm gonna go into this Mm -hmm. and really be okay with it in the vein in the guise of the storytelling because in 2022 it's like yo what is happening but this is what happened yeah in those in these times right Mm -hmm. like the uncle you wouldn't see this guy for five years and he marries him off to his yeah marries his niece and then they you know what i'm saying like this these things happened Right, we would read stories about this when we were in school. Like, sure. oh, he ends up marrying his half did Edgar Allan Poe, like married his daughter or some wild shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, I, and this I, was way. I get the the monarchical aspect of it of how you gotta keep the bloodline together, keep the bloodline. I get it. That. It's sickening, yeah. but it's, it's whatever. Sick. But the way he went about concocting the lie, sure. About his yeah. character is very like maniacal mm-hmm. and it feels very like, you know, it, it yeah. 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 Now let's it's, talk. There's a dark sense about it for oh, sure. Yeah. That's his character, which I think is, I mean, in my opinion, well, I thought it's, right yeah, no. I thought it was probably the best episode of the series so far. I, 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 I can, I can agree. I think the scenes where they're going through like the festivals and the market at night oh, and yeah. all of that, like it's so, um, it's so like well done and oh. complex, and there's so many pieces to it. Yes. Like it really felt like if you're a Game of Thrones fan, real. it has so many elements of yes. like, uh, uh, what is it? Allegory. Yeah, and the way that they even like life. filmed it, yeah. even when they moved through like the like the brothel and everything, and the lighting and yeah. the, way, the cinematography, how they did everything, just felt super cohesive and really well it done. Was, it was like weird. that was yeah. again firing on all cylinders yeah. again the content and the subject might not be for you but they really knocked that out of the park and the production i mean after episode three i'm a damon fan i wasn't really on board with him for one and two mm. but after he dragged the crab feeder yeah that was <laughs> red that was like oh my he, yep. this is my, he got he got that dog in him as they say indeed <laughs> all right i think that's enough i think we've done it yeah, we Are we killed. all positive on the Mictors? Yeah, I think that was a thumbs up on everybody's Great. on everyone's part. Great. I thought it was really good. I've never had it before. It's my first I've time. I've redeemed myself. Yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah redeemed you. Scott, thank you. Yeah. Hi Marks, man. Hi Marks. Very mm-hmm. good. Did you see any anybody see the uh alcohol free? Did you look for the alcohol free whiskey? Okay. Alcohol that's what that alcohol free whiskey? That's what that was. Yeah. I didn't. I was working when you sent it to me, yeah. so I kind of like looked at it and I was like, "What?" It was a company that like makes like alcohol free spirits. Like you can get like alcohol free wine. I just go to Wegmans. <laughs> they got a whole aisle of shit. You can get, get some it. apple juice or something. I've done the, I've done the alcohol free wine before. It's really bad. When my wife was pregnant, we used to do the old duels and like. Oh yeah, you know what's actually not bad? The Heineken. Heineken Zero. The, the Heineken, Heineken, Heineken Zero. I've done the Heineken. I, there was a, we did a dry like January one time or whatever. And I wanted to watch it. There was a football game or something. And you I just wanted, wanted to, to you I wanted, wanted to have the sensation. So we like explored everything. We did wines and beers and all kinds of alcohol free stuff. And the Heineken Zero, the Heineken Zero Zero That's was by far the closest thing I could find to normal tasting alcohol without alcohol in it out of everything I tried. We're just going to be pissy the entire time. Cause it's just tastes like a light beer. Yeah. Well, we, we just gotta got come tons up, of shit up. We've got to come up with some October episodes because we're we got to do some Halloween themed. Got your birthday. We got Halloween. We can do a sober October episode. Yeah. About I four still want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got some ideas. All right, very good. This is a, this is a wrap. We're All good. right, bye guys. Episode thirty one.